We at NGROC have been running Kubernetes since, goodness, I don't know, 2018, a while now. So we have plenty of experience with it. Building a product for that ecosystem has been great. It's been a great experience. It is one thing I would say is like, I would not frame it exactly as NGROC is migrating to Kubernetes so much as we are expanding into that space. Uh, all the things that you could do before with NGROC are still possible. And the way that we have, you know, have built the Kubernetes product, right, is that it is the piece of NGROC that extends into the Kubernetes world that understands Kubernetes natively, right? It works with the ingress objects, it works with the gateway objects, and yes, we have our own CRs uh, as well, but we're really finding a way to tie into that ecosystem and make NGROC, which is, you know, a, a globally distributed API gateway, you know, as a service, something that you can provision natively from Kubernetes, just as much as like the original version of NGROC was, hey, how do we take this globally distributed API gateway as a service and make it fit really nicely on a command line. This is another modality in which you consume like those gateway services is Kubernetes. And Kubernetes, uh, the folks who have been in the cloud native world have been thinking about like, what is the shape of an API gateway that looks really good and feels really good for Kubernetes? You know, the first iteration being the ingress objects and, and this latest iteration being the gateway API. And so, you know, when we said, hey, we wanna really do this right, we said like, great, well, there are some ways in which our primitives like, uh, don't exactly map to that. So CRs are the right approach for that. And other ways in which we can like natively support exactly the standards that are created by the CNCF for supporting the workloads that that make sense on a Kubernetes environment. So I don't know, it's, it's been a good experience. We're, we're really happy to be there. We use our own operator ourselves to expose our own services that are running inside of Kubernetes. Yeah, that's, that's great.